This rightly handling the word of truth is, is creating this image is that the man of God or woman of God who is an, an honorable man or honorable woman of God, they're the type of people who, they're the path in which that, that guides them in their life, the road in which they travel is, is predicated and contingent and solely based off the word of God. It's the, they, they, the word of truth is what leads them, meaning God's word is what directs their life. Their thought life, their, their, their work life, their, their emotional life, their relationships, their marriages, their kids, their parenting, their jobs, everything. It's the exact same Im- imagery we see in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 that says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understandings, but in all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your path, or he will direct your path. That's the same imagery we have here. See, the, see, Solomon in Proverbs is telling us, who do you trust? He says, trust the Lord with all your heart, with all your heart, with all your, your mind, with all your strength. Don't lean on your own understanding. Lean on God's understanding. Put your faith in him. Put your hope in him. Stay, stay tethered to him. His word, his will, his ways, and he will direct your path. He will plow the field. He will construct the highway for you to maneuver on, to drive down. He will direct your life. When we construct our lives and build our lives on God's word, will, and ways, we have a a, a great hope and a great promise that he will get us where he wants us to go. Jesus will lead us. The psalmist also says down in the, in the same way that we're speaking here in, uh, among uh, uh, you know, green grass and streams of water. 